Hello everyone. Back at Waverton with a different bay horse. Good girl. <laughs> Wilma. She says, guys, they don't feed me. Oh dear. So it is now the Sunday. We were here with Winnie on the Friday. Good girl. Girls. We are a bit behind schedule because the traffic was terrible. But we've missed the big shower. <laughs> we've had. missed a massive shower, yeah. Waverton's looking. Oh no. Oh Pete. no, we the don't want to be. Yeah, oh. sadly Waverton's looking, looking a little browner than when we were here on Friday. Hey gorgeous girl. The ground feels terrible nice terrible weather. Oh the ground was incredible. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you can't nice tell we've now. had bad weather. Yeah, it's been nice. But we are back to do another 80 with gorgeous Wilma. Oh no, we've got a stone in our stud hole. Oh dear. She's moving, so she has done... She's done two 80s. No, 180. And then I took her down to 70 because she was just being a little bit spooky. But now we are back up. Go. And hopefully a nice positive run, although we have got spooky show jumps here and a fairly spooky cross country, so we'll see. We'll be fine. Right, Pete, I'm not being negative, I'm stating facts. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, excuse me. Oh no, don't sneeze, Hobbs. I'm also still feeling quite ill, guys. Hobbs might have it, have it, because we had a banana en route, and I, I shared had banana. a tiny bit. No, we didn't share a banana. <laughs> I had the tiniest bit left at the bottom. <laughs> Hobbit snuffed it when I gave her the peel. <laughs> I said, Hobbit. It was one of those absent-minded things. <laughs> Why is Megan left this? I'll just eat it. I don't like the banana bum. She's so childish, isn't she, Wilma? Childish. Oh, I meant to go through my test en route again. I'm very quick to learn dressage tests, but they stay in my head for approximately. 10 minutes stand. after I've done it. Anyway, hopefully you need we'll to stand for that. about four and a half minutes. So. No, I know, but it's, in, it's the same test I did on Friday, but oh. I think I've probably already forgotten it because we went eventing with Hanny yesterday, Good excuse girl. me, and I um, learnt hers, so. Why did you learn Hannah's? Because she thought, she wanted me to read it for her. Right. And I like knowing them if I'm reading them. Oh. But then she didn't have it read in the end anyway. Hannah had learned the wrong test as well. <laughs> you can see all of that will be in Hannah's vlog, guys. Go and, go and check that out. She said, this is a bit scratchy. Do you want a different brush? Yeah, right. she does. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't like that. It's too, she's got, her skin's too sensitive. <laughs> it's not. Girl. <laughs> We've studied in record-breaking time, Damn, as please. always. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, says no control over the horse. Because Hobbs isn't used to being eventing guys or even dealing with horses. Day to day, Hobbs doesn't really see a horse. <laughs> Shiny toes, even though we're about to go and run around in the mud. Yeah. Fairly pointless, hey? Oh, no, we can't not do Stand. it. Stand. Ritual. Yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. There's tapas. Good. Yeah, there's also warm pork ooh, apple rolls, ooh, which if it's lovely. raining. Yeah. Might be more on brand than tapas. Yeah. Right, you change quickly, quickly. Change it. Good girl, where are we? Didn't realise this base layer I've got that I picked up from home is probably <laughs> dirty, but it's inside out, so I couldn't see it. Uh, so it's gross, look at it. Absolutely stinks. Next. Come here. Don't be rude. <laughs> Jeanette is not happy to be out venting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Willie is bad. 100 times yep. worse than Wilma. Yeah. Wilma's really good. Wilma just wants she to go for a walk. She does walk a bit through, over me and through me. Oh. Why are you putting your spurs on? Because she's so hard to get to move. Hardly get her out of trot without spurs. Hello, darling. Has she been nasty to you? I'm not. I just Did she brush you? No. No, because she kept walking away. <laughs> Tell her not to walk I away. I have told her. You're fine. You don't need to do that. Don't ruin oh, my right, plaits oh, with. Right. right. You just <laughs> go over Can there. I hold a the bit. rain? You don't need to hold anything. She's okay. not going to go anywhere. Well, this is a bit of an issue. There's Wilma. Without a head colour. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like Mountains me. Mountains out of molehills, Hobbit makes guys. Steady wild beast. 
Debbie. Oh, what did we what drop? Guys? She's Hang forgotten. On. Forgotten how to do anything. Do, do, do. She's genuinely got the saddle pad the wrong way around underneath the saddle. It's not even making it up. <laughs> I thought you were going to put that on backwards. <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> I saw you putting it onto the saddle the wrong way and I was like, no. <laughs> I'm just going to give it to you anyway. I'm not okay. going to do anything. Okay. Just watch her because she's a bit mental, as you'll see. Hold on go. tight. Hold on tight. Oh. <laughs> Wilma, don't mug me off. I think I should give her a brush. No, she's fine. I gave her a bit of a brush. Right, it's easier to just put the pad on like this. Oh. oh. Money spider, guys. Oh. We're in the in money. In the money. Why were you just lying about giving her a brush? You didn't give her a brush. I did brush this side. <laughs> I did. Pete's probably got it on camera. <laughs> yeah, we've got you <laughs> eating a brush into the abyss. Oh my god, I thought the wrong saddle then. Oh my god, that would not have been good. would have been fun. Hey, Probably been wouldn't barfed. have said anything. I held her this morning while you bathed Yeah, her. I know, but she's still got dust on her. <sighs> what about that? I'll give you a little flick with the brush. She's We're fine. actually doing quite well with time. She looks lovely. She says, I know, but I could look lovelier. Come here, you have got one speck of dust on your head. There we go. Good girl, Wilma. Woo! Is it lunchtime yet? No. What time do we get lunch? She says we get lunch after cross country hobs, you know that. That's looking all right. You might notice I've got a lot of plaits in, guys. It's because. Oh, you have? I was doing them and I got to the end <laughs> and it meant there were going to be 13. But I just couldn't have 13. So I think, well, no, hang on. I was going to have 12, then the forelock was going to make it 13, which I couldn't do. So now I've got 13 down the neck. Okay. I think the forelock makes it 14. So I've got the most irrelevant plait. You can't actually see it. It's under my saddle, but I was like, I'm, I have <laughs> to plait that. I'm counting that. So that it... <coughs> there, I have that. You see him? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. See? Can't have 13 plaits in total. Are we good for time and everything? Yep, I think we're all right. I'm just going to grab a drink of water, double check the test, and then <laughs> we'll get on down there. Maybe we'll give you a little flick with the brush, Wilma, because you've still got mm. patches where you can tell you were washed. Your hair's in the wrong direction. Look at that, you've got watermarks on your bum. Good girl. I hope she's going to let you go down the centre line like that. You do carry the dust. I didn't really know this about bays, bays or dark browns bays. or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Actually, that's true. They're actually not the no. easiest. I think buckskin is the best. For like. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. <laughs> You're the best. For mushing colours into, like for mushing mud into them. That was pretty impressive stuff. We are like a well oiled Girl. machine now. It's only taken us how many years of eventing, do you think? <laughs> a lot. A lot, a lot. When do you reckon I did my first event? I don't know, were you 12? No, I was younger than that when I was doing Pony Club. Oh, well, that's true. Oh, sorry. I, we <laughs> I reckon we'll be getting on for 18 oh, years God. of eventing. You wouldn't get that for murder. <laughs> Hobbit, as always, <laughs> keeping spirits high, you know, just nice. I must be too parole by now. <laughs> you need a tag on your leg, you do, the amount you're wandering off on holiday. Good girl. Come on, Wilma Woo. Good girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's going for reverse. Oh, sorry, Wilma, that was not graceful. Good girl. Aren't you good girl? I'll wander on down, find out what arena I'm in. You okay? Jeez. Yep. I think we're good. Whoa. See you guys down there. Okay, bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. Come on, trot forwards. Come on. No, trot. Make a trot. Make a trot. Stop hiding behind your little silly trot. Thank you. Bella, well done. Insurance will get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my hand down. Drop, drop.
I supposed to be doing anything, Peter? Uh, you will be in a second. Oh, God, I'm not afraid corner. of that. I think that was her bell. Oh, she, yep, she's doing a little circle at the end. As as we, go. we are fully zoomed. A bit far away. Yeah, we've been stopped from going too far, too close, I mean. Come on, concentrate, Wilma. Well, that was, I thought that was quite sweet from here, from uh, the angle we are standing here, which is a little bit unorthodox, but um, quite sweet. Going up the centre line, looked straight. Wilma, a little bit fussy in the contact. But, uh, it's hard to tell whether it's a few flies around or a few raindrops. Oh, indeed both. Please don't rain anymore. <laughs> cool. Sorry, I'm going to get into trouble for this. Lack of concentration on the camera. Seems like an awful lot of circles down in that corner. I think we've got more rain coming in, guys. Good girl, Wilma. Good girl. Didn't say too much because at the moment she seems to be going quite sweetly and concentrating for the most part. It's quite nice and quiet tucked away here at the dressage, although there are regular bangs, which I'm um, not entirely sure what that is. <laughs> Somebody's shooting somewhere, or maybe a crop scarer. Another horse going around the outside of, oh, we're going into the other arena. Arena, we might catch a little bit of them if we're lucky. Hello. A couple of boggy patches there in that arena by the sound of it. But I have to say, Wilma's being a very good girl. Most part listening to Megs, concentrating on the job in hand. I think it looks like a sweet test. Looks like she came a bit above the bridle just there in that transition. But she's only a young horse. Good girl. Free, a walk on a free rain, long rain. Good girl. She actually looks really nice and relaxed. Could have a little bit more purpose. Oh, she's good. Good girl. God, this is very heavy. I would not want to be a camera woman. <laughs> Unusual test where you just walk up the centre line. Oh, I mean a little bit of a fidget with the halt. Oh, a lot of a fidget. Which is actually don't want to halt. Oh, Megs. Mm, not entirely sure what happened there. Good girl. Ah, oh, that was a shame. Yeah, certainly something to work on. 
all very unsettled suddenly. Well, oh, oh my. I don't know why she suddenly had a bit of a hissy fit about standing still. See, I was just watch her coming out. Is Meg going to try another halt? She's just halting for a bit of a practice. We obviously need to go and do a little bit of dressage, just dressage, pure dressage in arenas because she was quite chirpy and chilled till then. And then suddenly it was like, hmm, don't actually want to stop, thank you. <laughs> Never mind, I thought I thought it was quite a sweet test <laughs> until that point. Good girl. Oh, we're doing rain back now. All right, Meg, timing is everything. Halt for a second and then ask her to go forward. Now forward. Oh, not backwards. <laughs> well, that's a shame. I think that will take her score down a lot. But never mind. These things happen. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss now I'm done living life with the lights I'm done with my own doubts So, <laughs> actually, really pleased with that test, other than the very, very obvious mistake right at the end. Um, but to be fair to Wilma, she thought that she was want that we I was wanting rain back, so she just couldn't grasp. And I think it didn't help that we walked into the halt. I think had we have trotted in and halted, she would have understood. But I think because it was a walk in and a halt, and I was trying to square her up and have her on the bit, she was like, "Rain back." And then when she doesn't understand something, bless her, she's just like, uh, like I can't do it. I can't do anything right now. I can't even stand still. So that was a real shame. And I <laughs> made one pretty big mistake because I got a bit carried away in the second canter and forgot that over the second, uh, over the centre line in the second circle, um, I had to drop. So I was definitely late to my downward transition. But that was fine. It wasn't like massively late. It was probably two strides after the centre line. So not terrible. I've got to go up this way. Um, but no, I was actually really, really pleased with the rest of it. I thought she did a really smart test. Up until those two mistakes, I'd have said it was a better test than Willie's. OK, Pete's waving. We'll do score predictions when we're back at the box, guys. <laughs> God, there's like a quagmire in there. See how muddy it is? I know, it looks awful. Right, Hobbs, we need to do score oh. predictions. Oh, score predictions. Oh, gosh. That's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, be careful, Pete. <laughs> I think I'd have been on a solid prediction of about 29.5 until the halt. Yeah. I'm going to go for... There's only one movement, though. I'm yeah, but for... I was also late in a downwards transition from Canter. Oh, you bad, bad Dobby. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault. OK, I'm going to go for 32.9. <laughs> I think that's Yeah, quite... that's similar to what Winnie got. I think got. that's quite generous. <laughs> yeah, I think 34 is probably more likely. <laughs> You're going 34 and Hobbs is 32.9. I thought... Before the halt, I would have said it was a nicer test than Winnie's, and Winnie's was 32 point something. Well, well should we get back Good to our girl. box before we have a big scratch? Ooh, let me unlock the back of the um, The Pete's gone for 34. 
I feel that mine's quite generous, it's 32.9. No, because I thought the rest of it was really nice. Yeah, it was. The rest it's actually one nice. movement. Yeah. And a late canter transition. Okay, two movements. I'm going to go 31.5. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where's the 31? There we go, guys. I think we've got to stay positive. We've got to believe. They're, they're done all the other marks until that point. That's true. You know, and I think the halt was a solid 10. <laughs> solid four. I wonder what she'll get for the halt. We hardly even did it. She uh -huh. basically didn't show the movement. I think she might just get two. I went to salute and she just zipped off. <laughs> that was quite naughty. Oh, sorry. Good girl. Naughty. Oh, dear. Naughty girl. Deary me. She's all jolly going back, all spooking on her toes. She was because she'd been completely chilled till then. I know. She? She's a funny one. She goes from zero to a hundred. Yeah. She says it's the thoroughbred blood in me. Good girl. Good girl. Here we go. I'll give that to you and Thank I'll whip you. the saddle off. Yeah, and then we'll go down to what looks like a rather muddy shoe. Are we unpacking and. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to change her bit. Quite a leisurely. Oh, no. stirrups up. How many? Two from the top, please. They're up to. Thank you. Good girl, Wilma Woo. So on the second from the top. Second from the top, yeah. So wait, no, so it'll be third from the top. Third from the top, yeah, sorry. It's a bit confusing. Everyone's got different ways of saying things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Ray's been on have you been on camera yet today, darling? A little bit. Yeah, Ray's here. Time. Good girl. I'm not getting complete. <laughs> good. Mind this. Good girl. Good, good. Ray's here, everyone. <laughs> Should I lock up again? Yes, please. <laughs> see you in there. We're good to go? Yeah, that's good. As you can see, guys, all was not good. So I'm so sorry about this show jumping footage. Poor Hobbs was on the gimbal camera and for some reason, the camera just wasn't auto-focusing and Pete was doing slow-mo and so we didn't notice. So sadly, we have got a very, very blurry, unfocused show jumping round, but we'll try and zoom in when we can and you can get the vague picture i wasn't going to show it but i want to be able to show you guys the spook that she did so jump the first two quite nicely i was really pleased with her over the second because that was the really spooky fence that hazelton she took a very big disliking to and i was like wow you're actually going really really well i was really proud of her then we come around this corner and again it's going towards the judges box now she had a little look at that first one there and then she just absolutely despised this kind of brush fence which is bizarre because it's the most rustic one and you'd think she'd prefer that but i think in context because it was so different to the others she it just fried her brain a little bit and bless wilma she is one of those horses that kind of gets brain fry and she doesn't know what to do and you see she just went backwards so that's where we picked up our four faults initially we do think we'd gone clear because they announced clear but rightly so we were awarded four faults for it however she did then go on and jump the course really nicely i obviously had my lucinda lesson with her last week and lucinda was saying i need to be better at keeping a contact with her mouth because that's where she gets the security so i might look like i'm riding her a little bit sort of stronger than normal but we've kind of figured out that is just how wilma prefers to be ridden so yeah really pleased other than that one obvious spook but technically a clear in wilma's mind at least i complicate things one of my many skills i'm making things up all in my mind cause i analyze their body language I hear every change in their tone Maybe they hate me, somehow I'll play me My mama said Clear? Well, they've given me a clear anyway. Again, a Wilma spook right in the middle where she just... <laughs> when she spooks, she full on is like, I want to go the other way. So at least this time she didn't whip round. Have you unclipped the, this clip? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, yeah, that's true. She just stopped and had a look. But it's just weird. She was going so nicely. And today it was a rustic fence. That one that she had the issue with at Hazelton was number two again, and she jumped that fine. But it's just... It's Wilma's brain. We don't know what's going on in there, do we, my love? Anyway, please we got clear, but we were given six time. I think the time was already quite tight. So, um... 
It's actually worse than having a pole or a stop that, Wilma. <laughs> <laughs> we should have just had it down, babe. Oh dear. Good girl. At least you went. And you were keen. And I thought she was jumping nicely. She was jumping really nicely. Yeah, she felt like she was jumping well. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere, just stopped for a look, didn't she? It's just, it is just her. It's just lack of experience. She just does it. Can. Yeah, but it's, it's I don't know. see lots, doesn't she? We need to get yes. out and do some show jumping and some dressage. And... Do you have a stop? No. Oh, uh, maybe they have. Maybe okay. just... they have given me four. Oh, maybe they did give me a stop. Yeah. Maybe they did give me a stop. Maybe you just didn't hear. No, she definitely said clear for jumping. Oh. oh. But they might have then thought, yeah. was that clear for jumping? Yeah, probably wasn't. Good girl. Oh, well, getting six time was going to put us out of the leaderboard anyway. Good girl. Right, I'll um, take these plats out. They have apparently moved some of the cross-country fences because of the ground. OK. So I would quite like look. to like, just walk over okay. and have a look. We almost had a nap. <laughs> Lucky oh dear. I can't remember if we said on camera that we have got four penalties. Was you that did. on camera? Well, okay. you said, but I don't think it was confirmed. Oh, we've got our dressage. Go on, Ray, take it away, because I can't remember what it was. Well, the point. 30 points. So I guessed 31, and they got 30.7. Oh. So I won. Wow. I won the game today. What did I do? 31.5? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think that's really good, actually, because the halt be interesting to see what we had yeah. marks wise you guys already know but i am sure surely the whole can't be more than four if that, if that. like it, they could have easily <laughs> given me a one yeah. if they wanted awful. to yeah. but you never know how they're gonna yeah and I mean, my late canter transition so i think she probably without those mistakes would have definitely been a sub 30. i did have a good second hand embarrassment when you did the whole did you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Pete. That's me. You want to go cross country? <laughs> yeah, easy. I think you're all cool. So um, so because of the ground and the rain, they've moved a couple of cross-country fences. I think it's all the same order. Well, I hope it's all the same order. <laughs> um, so we had a little nosy to have a look. Oh, my. So, and then it's, it's been really heaving down there. We're quite lucky that we can actually see the cross-country from here. So we've had a little sleep in this end, and now we're going to go down. But the time has also changed. However, I don't think we will be remotely competitive now. We're adding 10 to our score. So I just really want to get a nice, positive confident round i mean the thing is i think we do need the impulsion i don't want to poodle around because that gives her time to think about other stuff i want to be like cross-country speed but obviously doing nice wide lines for the ground and so that she has a chance to see everything she is fast asleep <laughs> so tired she's so tired it's because they're out all night partying uh, yeah. oh, we always now out with winnie and with etty like a little three. To be fair, there was the neighbours were having the football yeah, party were. last night. Maybe the noise yeah. watching football. Did they joined in. I think they probably did. I yeah. think they do just stay up all night eating Girl. and chattering about mare things. <laughs> right, Wilma Woo. Okay, well there are left. I'll wander down, put my number down. Yep, go put your number right. down. Good luck. See you on the course. Adio, Wilhelmina, she's out of the start box and away. Wilhelmina's first season and ending. Don't be
That looks great. <laughs> that looks really good. Really good. I'm really pleased with her actually. She was Aww. very, very confident that I wasn't taking so much as a tiny chance anywhere. Good. For her to not have a nice jump. Yeah. Ah. Um, so no, she was, She's, um, we had our first minute marker way before where it was meant to be and I was like, right, stop the watch. <laughs> Let's just cruise round because I didn't want to be making up time and having mistakes. Yeah. And after that Lucinda lesson, she said about like, you need to keep hold of her. She's like, you ride her way too light in the hand and she doesn't like it. So like constantly uh, have a contact over the fence, have a contact right. so that she feels more secure. So you need to concentrate on that basically. Yes, yeah, so at every fence I was making sure that I had a back. Like, and then Lucinda said about getting her into a deeper spot. So it gives her more time to like right. see things and then to jump accordingly. So no, really pleased with her. Good girl. She that felt a lot more confident in the rounds she's and given me before. And lovely and smooth. Yeah, and, and we just cruised around. She's gonna have a really nice gallop when she goes like, she's so comfy. Yeah. She feels like you're cruising around on a big old horse. Yeah, I mean, she made it look really easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna be probably like a minute over the time. <laughs> but I was like, the thing is when you're not competitive, you may as well use, like, you paid the money to come here and it's, exactly. it's, she's going to get more out of it by just having a chill. Exactly. And travelling and at like, speed. And, like, she still had a, yeah, still a bit of gallops and, like, practising galloping and coming back. Yeah. You got 5.6. What was it? 5.6 5. 5. 6 time. Oh. So what was her time? 5 minutes and 11 seconds. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. not bad. Which, given when I did... So for some reason, the time's changed from when yeah. Winnie was yeah, here. So yeah, because, yeah, on Friday. 5.04. Yeah, 7 seconds <laughs> last time. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm leaving you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get run over, my love. There's only one, one Pete in this world. Meet him. Oh gosh. Yeah, come on down. And I think we did miss the worst of the weather. It feels like it might be about to downpour. Good girl, Wilma. Really, really pleased with that. You are a cool horse. You're a very cool horse. You're going to give a seriously nice feel when we're all oh where we want to be hey Wilms <laughs> what was the ground like it was quite sticky in places the bits where it didn't didn't have high footfall and you could pick your ground yeah. like I just went really wide everywhere <laughs> let's have the best ground we can get did you see her bless her after that cartridge one where you have to go down that yeah. steep bit and it like bottlenecked, so that was really boggy uh, so we trotted yeah I saw that we well, had a trip I thought it was maybe lost no. <laughs> Health and safety, this looks dangerous. Let's draw. Quite right, too. Where's your head collar? You could get Very pleased with you. Very pleased with you. I'm excited to hopefully, when Wilma is at badminton, look back at these events and be like, isn't it funny how, <laughs> how baby we had to be? It's dry again. It's tapas weather now, isn't it? Yeah, back to tapas weather. <laughs> Oh gosh, we are off to get food. Steaming, look at it. What a weird day, it's just, we've just had an absolute downpour. Hence why we've just been filming on this camera because the other cameras will get too wet and they'll get ruined. Oh no, how are we going to get out? Oh poor Waverton, it's just been so well, we'll be trashed. I don't know, it's quite... It's it quite oh my god, it is actually steaming off the ground, isn't it? With evaporation on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, scientist. <laughs> um, anyway, we're off to get food. Obviously, we had tapas when we were here last time with Winnie Boo. Yeah, I'm not going to get tapas. I know, I said we had tapas uh, last time. Yeah, so now we feel like we should try the other option out. And last time it did say they had hot pork rolls, which would be I literally, I can't imagine anything better right now. Can't see the sign. That's upsetting. It might be behind me. We are kind of back to tapas with the We were saying earlier when it was chucking it down. In that tapas weather, we would not feel like we were in sunny sunny Spain. Pete's Eats, what's in the menu today and how he will rate it? Pete's Eats, 
What has his life come to? Let's see it speed seat. Pete seat. Sunny. Hey. What'd you go for, darling? A chicken burger. No, no you didn't. Bacon burger. Bacon burger. <laughs> nice, it looks good. Bacon yeah. burger. With I've onions. got your onions. Hope that's cheese. okay. Yeah, cheese. Yeah, fine. cheese. Yeah. Um, we've gone for chicken burgers and we've got a communal fries. Cheesy fries. Let's get. Oh, oh we nearly missed the first bite. Pizza. Oh, yes. Have another oh, beautiful. That is the money shot. That's what we wanted. Here we go now. Back out of the box. Oh my god, my hair is going to be wacky. Ooh. A little croaky voice. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of ready for the croaky voice to go away. Do you like the croaky voice? Is it sultry? No. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> handsome. Oh, no. <laughs> um, before we do Pete's Eats, I've gone for another brownie. Pete bought one earlier and we shared it four ways and it was so good. I've gone for brand number two. But without further ado, Peter, we need some scores on the doors for your bacon, cheese and onion there burger. Where are you? There you are, darling. It, it did the job. Hit the spot. <clears throat> Standard wasn't anything special, but six five. Yeah. Yeah. I see that's fair. Yeah, I didn't yeah. love mine, but I'm quite expected. fussy with chicken burgers. It wasn't chicken yeah, burgers. flashy, but chicken burgers. To the no, point. exactly. Filled a hole. Nothing bad about it, but nothing no. exceptional. No, it was good. That's about it. I don't really have any more to send that. Yeah. yeah. The fries were very nice. Yeah, also, I think good. it was mozzarella on the fries. Oh, was it? I think so. Very I nice. got some mozzarella vibes, which I loved. Where is Hobbit? Yeah, where is Hobbit? We would get so told off for this. I want to change my trousers because Ray has just pointed out that I've got a little muddy mark that's not potentially not the most flattering. <laughs> Will, are you alright, darling? We're waiting for Hobbit. Hobbit's got the keys. Oh, she's decided to grace us with our the guys out the best way to uh, We think go all the way around. No, they said not. It's getting very wet down the bottom. Okay. So they're trying straight. She said at least if you they are taking most stuff out. So at least oh. Right, I'm going to change my trousers quickly because I'm soaked. Catch up in the lorry, guys. Guys, the chauffeur is back. Back in town. I have never sat in this seat, in this box. No, Been driven around. Driven first time you've driven it. You've loved it. It's yeah. really nice. Really, it is. really nice. Sorry. They just drive. They drive so nicely. They are. Lovely, lovely. And you can see Lady Wilma. Big up Liberty Horse Boxes because they have been a fantastic, a real game changer. Real game changer it means we get to go out without a Hobbit. But obviously today we've been blessed. Blessed yeah, with. I still have to come. Remind me. You don't have to. You choose to. Oh, you make me feel guilty if I don't. Nah, I'm past that now. <laughs> That's not true, everybody. You <laughs> little liar. What did you say the other day when I said I wasn't going to come? Oh, that's that's top secret. We've not announced that yet. Oh, okay. We're gonna beep over that. Oh. Yeah, you guys need to stay watching videos coming up because that is an exciting announcement. But I've not said it yet, so we're gonna beep over that. Right. Anyway, Hobbit, yes. stop being yes, right. annoying and okay. giving out secrets that aren't yours to give. Okay. And let's discuss today's event, which is actually, although on paper it's fairly not great i am actually quite pleased with her i think we've been, been pretty successful dressage was good annoyingly haven't got my test sheet yet so i can't discuss what marks i got but the cops were quite good the dressage them. was really nice the dressage test was uh -huh. really was really really sweet really nice she was so much more settled she was so much more relaxed chilled mm. just until the halt at the end yeah and, she just and we can't blame her for that I, because I she just she thought great that yeah yeah, exactly. It was a bit of a miscommunication. Yeah, and she were, like the thing is with Wilma is when when something scrambles her head, or like when something goes wrong, it really scrambles her head, yeah. and she's like ah. And in that moment, she just can't do what you're asking her to do. She needs to have a little like. Well, then she just didn't know what you wanted to do. Did no, she? then she was just completely. No, and she doesn't like not knowing the answer, so she just yeah. gets a bit yeah That's frazzled. Sad. So that was fine, and I definitely would have given away marks with my late canter transition. So we're really pleased because we think, well, yeah, so my score was 30.7 and the wonderful guy, Dan, big up Dan, who we know, who is leading the class, was under 28 point something. Yeah, so so not, miles not miles behind, not miles behind. So very, very pleased. And then show jumping, 
just a bit frustrating just one of those things one of those young horse like lack of experience spookiness you never really quite know where she's gonna do it but often so those like that set of show jumps follows around a lot of the local events um and I've, so I've jumped loads of horses over those kind of jumps and they do for some reason just always spook at that rustic one I think because it's like out of place with the other colourful ones sometimes it just takes them back and again going back to Wilma that she just gets like complete brain fry once she's confused she really just shuts down and you have to be like no come on like we're going it's fine and then she jumps really well and I actually felt like she was jumping very nicely so that was good it's just annoying and the time was very tight so I think in another 80 maybe we wouldn't have got the time we'd have just had the four penalties but it's just just the way it is and then cross country obviously not going for the time at all it was a little bit boggy in places but fair play to Waverton they had really done an amazing job of like moving all the fences moving the string so that we could pick our way through really nice ground because the ground's amazing if it's not been churned up by the horses it was really really good ground so uh, yeah, we just went very steadily, picked our way, had a very confident giving round. There was one bit at the far end where she spooked. I'm hoping, pretty sure Equireal are here this week. So I'm hoping that we're going to get the Equireal from, from the event for both Winnie and Wilma. Um, this is one bit where she had a bit of a like, put the brakes on, but not nearly as bad as I had with her at like Sapie and Hazelton. So, Overall, really chuffed. I think it was definitely the right decision to have a nice, slow, confident giving cross country. And yeah, she's finished 19th. It was causing quite a few problems everywhere, actually. Show jump was causing problems. The dressage um, section was like fairly harsh marking. Like, I'd say Wilma was definitely in the top 10 after dressage, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, cross country was causing quite a few problems. So, I think actually a lot to be pleased for. It doesn't look fantastic on paper. But who cares? We don't worry, we don't mind about what it looks like on paper. I think we have actually made progress. progress. Yeah. yeah. So no, really pleased with her and she's she is just a really classy horse. Like she gives me little little excited bits where I think, oh, you are gonna be very good fun. Yeah. Chuffed. A good day. Chuffed, chuffed, chuffed. A good day. We did get drenched. Did I get am drenched. so cold right now because this woman <laughs> honestly guys she is the dictator of temperature whether she's driving or not she has you had like it at her like temperature yeah because i'm freezing i know cold i'm cold <laughs> coat i'm literally soaked through to my skin like this is dripping wet dripping What's the bit of it's probably about 24 degrees it's minus four <laughs> and i'm poorly and she won't even let a poorly, sickly Victorian child have a blanket or any heat. <laughs> feel I, sorry for me. I should probably not come with you anymore. No, no, it's not that fun. Anywho, I hope you guys have enjoyed a season of eventing. I'm going to try and have a couple of days off filming because I bet you're sick of hearing my voice like this. And hopefully, I'll be feeling better. And then, uh, yeah, I will be doing an announcement about an exciting plan coming up. And I'm very slowly getting slightly braver on bear. So hopefully there'll be some more bear content coming. Oh, uh, and we've got some sad news coming up. There's all sorts of stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. <laughs> Press like if you enjoyed it. And comment if you think Hobbit should turn the heating up. <laughs> <laughs> Ill child. It will be a bit late though, but I'm gonna get the It'll comments. It will be late, but I'll still appreciate you yeah. guys. I'll still appreciate you believing. I'll, I'll turn it up because everyone's gonna comment. You're such a liar. <laughs> You're such a liar. You won't. And do you know what else she's been doing? Not only am I not like the heating on, she's had the window <laughs> wide open, literally down. That's the oh, policeman doing speed check. Like, to be fair, on the way down here, you said let's open both the windows because of your germs. Yeah, and then you ate my banana and you ate my chicken burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? You're getting the germs anyway, so we may as well be warm. Oh, gosh. Right. Oh, look, those old people look like they're telling the policeman off for doing speed checks. Hello. Wait, wait. Do we wave? No, I'm not waving. <laughs> uh, all right. That was awkward. Live, love, love you guys. See you very soon. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. <sighs> so cold.
normally I do. Oh, what was that? Oh, hang on. You're it's right. It's fine.